So, I'm 30 now. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about that or anything. Um, in this video, I'll be really talking about something that I want to make a reality, which is my project of me making video games and an animated show. Growing up and still to this day, I enjoy video games and watching animated shows and anime. Because of the games I have played and shows I have watched, I want my career to be creating an animated series and, if possible, video game. During college, I dreamed about doing it, but I felt nervous about making it real, and I wasn't in a good place due to dealing with depression. But today, it's different. I'm still working on details. I think, or I like to believe, I'm halfway done with the important info. I have an outline of a good number of episode summaries. I have ideas for characters, ideas for a game or two, how things work within the world of my project, and more. I don't know how long I've been really working hard on this project to make it real. Maybe about half a year now. I started sometime last year. Of course, I took time off and played some games, took care of my mental health, went outside and did shopping, and more. I'm going to give a basic concept of my project or one of my ideas, but I don't want to give so much detail due to the fear of someone using the idea and our concept. The concept of my project is a diverse cast of people in a world where fighting is a big deal and a big focus. These fighters fight one another to prove who is the best, to become stronger, and to push themselves to do better. However, an evil who want to destroy and rule over people must be stopped. And the good God and others must do battle to stop the evil. I'm not sure yet, but I want to make a shonen or anime show or something anime like. Maybe a western made show, but with Japanese animation influence. I want to say a PG-13-ish show, because I have ideas stories and other things about a PG rating that may not be for children and I don't want to limit myself. The genres are action, adventure, fighting, and martial arts with small slice of life moments and small references and post to video games and other anime. As for the gaming side, I have more than one game idea and genre like a 3D action game and a fighting game. I mean, anime and the fighting game genre go well together. But I'm having a few issues. Well, for one, I'm only one person doing a lot, so I might have missed or overlooked something. I'm not a voice actor, I don't want to be one, and I have no idea what my character would sound like. I don't know anything about how to make music and I don't play any instrument. I'm not the best at writing villains or bad god and I need help in that area to make them stand out or to be more meaningful and more of a danger to the good god. Not to mention I can't do everything alone. Me, anime, manga, TV show, video game, and whatever you can think of are not made by one person. Yet, an idea can come from one person, but it takes a whole team to make it happen. What I have to do is pitch my idea to someone or a company and go from there. There are more detailed, but that's the basic plan for me. I'm not the type to make a studio or run a business. I don't have the money or know-how. 
there is one more thing I want to talk about or give my opinion on, and that is diversity and representation. I bring this up because I have seen shows and games in recent years that try to do this. Some do it right, but some do it wrong, or it being done in a wrong way. Representation and diversity can mean different things to different people. There are multiple types of diversity, like opinion, race, culture, perspective, and more. A small part of my project had this in mind in terms of the characters I want to make. I made characters who are great or an actual person who happen to be of a certain race or whatever the case. And my project does take place in modern day USA. Minor questionable thing. Yes, there is representation, but it's mostly in the race or skin color area. However, the storytelling and quality in my project are higher on my list than the diversity and representation. Quality above diversity. Don't worry, I want to do things right. I don't want to avoid culture or focus on stereotypes. Characters are supposed to be more than the color of their skin and more. And I don't want to pander to every group or to weird people. I'm aware of a lot of this. Okay, I have a project that I want to make real, but I need help. I know some people will turn down my project, or I would have to make small adjustments, and that's okay. But hopefully, I have nothing to worry about. It had come to my and other people's attention that there is something wrong with modern society and certain people. I have no idea what's really going on with modern society. I want no part of it, and I don't want to add on to the problem. Because of what's been going on, I have become very skeptical of everything, but I'm not a negative, angry, or bad person. I would love to help people or change something, but I'm a dude who just play Pokemon. I'm a person with his own opinion. I don't want to come off at knowing it all or better than others because I'm not. I'm just a dude who played Mario Kart. I know right from wrong. I have nuance and you common sense. I'm open to some new thing. But I'm not so open-minded to a point where my brain falls out of my head. I can listen to different people who are not out of their mind and can understand a few things from their point of view. I have no problem with people of different races and cultures. I have no problem with gay and trans people and so on. If I do have a problem with someone or don't like them, it's not because of their race, culture, sexuality, and so on. It's because of a person's personality, behavior, mindset, and action. No one should be treated differently, better, or worse because of their race, where they are from, their sexuality, and so on. Treat others as you like to be treated. You know, all that equality stuff and not equity. I don't talk about politics because it's not my subject and it has become very toxic. But if I do talk about it, it's more in the area of the mindset and behavior of people. I keep politics to myself, but I did like people who bully people for their field and opinion. I do care about other people. I can put myself in other people's shoes, but that can only go so far sometimes. I would raid in a time period before the questionable stuff happened to think and to never let anyone or anything dictate what I thought.
when looking at what wrong with modern entertainment and why people don't like it the word woke keep coming up it woke had mostly been blamed for why video game tv shows and movies are bad but is that true but it woke the meaning is to be aware of injustice however in 2024 it apparently means something different it could have the same meaning but no one can give a good answer looking at woke in terms of politics or on paper it is not too bad but when looking at woke in terms of behavior and mindset that is a different story looking into things i came across many different videos though i reacted and watched these videos and did it where i understand why people hate woke or wokeness it's not about the politics or the meaning that it hated it's the mindset and attitude of these people they act and claim to be tolerant peaceful and accepting but they are not they are toxic hateful and unhappy for people who say that they are tolerant and inclusive their actions and mindset don't match that they claim to deport freedom of speech but ban lecture that are not in line with their views they don't respect free speech and silence what they think it hate speech which leads to cancel culture and or attacking people something i do not support with woke you're not allowed to have a different point of view you have to have their point of view you cannot disagree with anyone no matter how wrong something is so woke or i should say toxic woke people in my point of view are hated because most of them are extremist or annoying extremist and being that way is the best way to make people hate you and yeah i understand why they are hated now you might be thinking am i a part of woke culture <laughs> no i have my own opinion and they don't like different opinion so i don't fall into woke i don't support any group who harm bully and control other people or crazy people in general i'm not a part of woke or the anti-woke i'm just a dude that played mario party but how can i make people think of woke differently i think i got it woke you to be good but it had become toxic and pointless far left outrage that annoyed people to no end. It had combined and tried to be the catch all of feminism, sexuality, gender identity, different identity, concern for the planet, the rights of other people, and more. But it does not actually mean any of it. And everything about these people is a lie. None of them don't want to help people. And woke does not correct real injustice. But add to the problem and make things worse. People use it woke to be loud. To be thin. And to attack or cancel other people. For not having the same opinion or mindset as them. It is a weaponized personal evil masquerading as a genuine social concern with victimhood being a part of their identity and the movement. Or something like that. What's wrong with modern games? If anyone had ever made a video about why modern gaming is bad or negative, more likely, I would agree with everything someone had to say. Unfinished game, grinding, bit boring open world, using FOMO, trying to go after the Fortnite or Overwatch crowd, microtransaction, time crunch, battle pad, 
Battle Royale, Life Perfect game, going after trend, and so on. As for what is wrong with modern entertainment like TV and movies, it's a bit more difficult to answer for me. But I'm going to answer it by talking about modern entertainment as a whole. Some of the demographics of the web are changing and not for the better. People are making stuff or changing things for the modern audience and worrying about offending people. Who are the offended people? The far left, woke people, HAW, toxic feminine, the fat community, and other words, names, and nonsense groups relating to these. In other words, no one is really offended. Well, Normal and reasonable people are not offended. Because of these issues, modern entertainment is getting destroyed and made worse due to trying to please the crazy people. They are trying to please the loudest complaining minority while ignoring the polite majority. However, there is more to the story than what I will be talking about. I wish it was that simple, but it's not. Nobody had all the answers to solve the problem, and even if someone did, there is an issue with the companies and rules or politics that have gotten into entertainment. People have been saying gaming or entertainment have gone woke. Is that true, and why? Well, the answer is ESG, or money, and DEI had a part in it too. Looking at basic info on ESG and DEI sound good on paper. However, from digging a bit deeper, I learned ESG and DEI have problems. DEI is not about diversifying people or fair treatment. It's about limiting diversity of thought and affecting free speech. ESG has a lot of info. ESG is about greed and not about helping people. ESG is a credit score for companies. If a company had a good score or better, they can get money from a fetter. Black Rock and Vanguard have a lot of money and are giving it to companies, but they must follow their rules or politics. What are the rules, politics, and requirements? They are not going to give the info out so easily, but some people have picked up on a few Thing, like diversity quotas or caring about Pride Month. Although, I have no idea if something like the opinion of one person can affect the credit score. Right now, some companies are chasing ESG and are doing whatever they can to get that money. This includes diversifying their company, changing things in entertainment for the modern audience, aka remove outdated or offensive things, pandering hard by adding diversity, which could mean different things to different people, or inclusion into movies, shows, or gaming. Let's just say it's a rule from investors that you or your media can't upset or offend people. I can't prove it, but hear me out. Because companies are caring about ESG, they are trying hard not to offend people and make the investors happy. They are sanitizing their media or making it worse. Now, some media have become a bunch of rush, generic, safe 
garbage. Instead of focusing on creativity, good storytelling, good writing, and interesting character development, this type of media focuses on bot ticking quotas and representation and trying to net as big of an audience as possible. Good life stories, good writing, fun, and creativity are replaced with bad lessons, boring characters, and virtual signaling. Now, you might be wondering who is doing the sanitizing? It could be the people who are making the media themselves, or think of this in a different way. Because of the rule of not offending people and sanitizing, who else is good or in this case the worst at finding things to be problematic? The SJW or woke people. Whatever the case, this window has allowed far left political ideology, sensitivity reading, or nonsense into the entertainment media. All of this and more is how entertainment media has got worse. All of this ESG and DEI stuff doesn't make or care about making a great game, movie, TV show, or any entertainment media. This is what happened when you hire the questionable people to be your workers instead of great storytellers or creative people. This is what happened when rules, pandering, and greed are more important than making good entertainment. Even if we remove ESG, DEI, or far left politics, there are still problems like companies not taking risks, budget for movies, studio interference, microtrend action, time crunch, or abuse of people. Also, I have no idea if ESG or DEI is required or forced by law for every company or not. I don't know how to run a business or any of the corporate stuff, but a company should hire the best people and worry less about identity politics or being all inclusive. This may sound crazy, but hire people based on knowledge, talent, creativity, or merit. Not because they check boxes or to fill diversity quotas. I do believe companies in some way should give opportunity to some people in our group, but it needs to be done the right way and not at a pawn if the best person happened to be a gay black woman or whatever who can do the job and not cause problem, that is great. There is no denying this woke had called Discord among fan bases. The Discord around a show or game being woke is not a good way to feel entertainment in my opinion. Anti-woke people will call something woke because it had diversity and it bad stuff to end up being garbage because of diversity. A work of fiction is not woke for having diversity in the cast or story. When people use woke that way, it means nothing and becomes too vague. Anything can be woke in their eyes. A black main character or anything that feels normal gay and normal trans people in a positive way is woke or political to them, and that is not true. I'm not a part of the woke or anti-woke group. I have nuance and I'm critical of woke mostly when it comes to entertainment. I don't use woke to replace real criticism in media. There are some fair criticism like pandering, race swapping, 
give it a remake or whatever the case here is taught the feminism forcing people into roles that don't make sense or they didn't earn there are other things i have been hearing from other people and it's not from me that make a game or show woke or have woke nonsense like the youth of they them pronoun or neo pronoun gender ideology or ugly women in game or female characters being uglified also i do not know if there is different levels of woke or a woke meter but again i have to add what it woke but this time in terms of entertainment media like TV shows and video games. Well, this time there is a good answer and it comes from an AI. AI gave me a better answer than most humans on the internet talking about woke media. Anyway, we have a good definition and I get talk a few details about what it is my project okay my project had nothing to do with social justice issues or systematic injustices and it does not address the issue or it is never even talked about my character don't have an issue with a person because of their race sexuality and so on if my character don't like a person it because of their action and behavior my project does not really tackle or challenge traditional norms and values my character do live different lives and have different opinion views and ideas my project does have some diversity and representation, mostly race, but I'm not promoting diversity like crazy. So, my project is not woke or barely. It only had diversity, but it's not the main focus. My focus is on fun, action, or entertainment first, racial diversity second and other stuff lad i'm not going to for politics or feminism in my project don't get me wrong i would like to say a few words about something or maybe tackle a serious issue or if my writing just happened to have a topic like depression and mental illness free will or war Getting back to creation, I think it's important now more than ever for real creativity and fun. We need creative people, we need real talent, and we need love in the media again. It's best to allow entertainment to be fun, not forcing anything, and not care about offending Weak-minded people, media has always been inspired and tried to say something with artistry or subtlety. Without artistry or cleverness, the media would suck. A lot of people are starting to see the problem. I want to create something fun, tell stories I want to tell or prefer to watch. I want to make my project without woke nonsense with the help and advice from people who love anime, games, and other nerdy stuff. Remember what I said earlier? I know some people will turn down my project or I would have to make small adjustments and that's okay. However, I am not changing anything for this woke. I want to focus on making good media rather than making sure I don't offend anybody. My project is not for everyone. When you try to make something, a game, a movie, or show for everyone, 
you made something for no one. My project is not aimed at men. It so happened to appeal to them more than anyone else. It isn't to say women are not allowed to watch or it not for them. Because there are some women who are into action, fighting, and martial arts. Although, I have to be honest, I do not have any passion for making woke media or adding element I don't want in my project. Why would I add feminism or LGBT topic to my project when my project had nothing to do with it? Here is a fun fact. Growing up, I never had an issue with gay people. Gay and straight people are or can be the same in my opinion. The only difference is who they are attracted to. A man is only gay if he is attracted to other men. A man with feminine traits or is very flamboyant is not gay or it does not make a person gay. There are a few gay characters in my project, but the only thing gay about them is sexual attraction. That is it. Maybe a small trait, but nothing extra. Anyway, because of what is going on behind the scenes in some western companies in the USA but not in the East like Japan and companies like Disney and whatever they own have a 50% DEI requirement when it comes to making a show and characters. I want to find a company in the USA and the state I live in that did not go after ESG scores or care about it much less. I want nothing to do with ESG and DEI. I don't want toxic woke people or fake activists hijacking the project and forcing their nonsense on me. They make it a habit of ruining the fun or the fun out of people. In modern day USA, you will find different people of different backgrounds with different opinions. Did my project take place in the modern day USA? Mind a questionable thing. Putting diversity in my project is not a big issue. But my project is not going to be super diverse. Not every show or game need to be extremely diverse or inclusive. And I do understand why the topic is talked about. People want to see themselves in entertainment media. If I was gay and I am not, I would want my sexuality to be seen and respected. I do care a little about some sensitivity and I don't really want to offend people by race or nationality. But everyone had a different view on what made representation offensive, accurate, or a stereotype. For example, if I have a Native American in my project, I want to make the character right and not offend real Native American. However, if a toxic SJW got offended, I could not care because everything offends them. But to remind people, a lot of shows in recent years have gay and trans people and other diversity than race. Not to mention, there is media made by people of different races, cultures, sexualities, and so on. There is a lot of other media out there, so look at those. And don't expect everything to be diverse. Not everything is made for you. And that goes for everyone, even me. The only thing I focus on when it comes to diversity and representation 
it rate and nationality it easy to stay focused on that one type of diversity and representation i already talked about a few gay characters and how i'm making and writing them both the men and women have respect for each other and have their gender characteristics how I made my character is a bit much to talk about. The only thing I can tell you is that I did not make my character with DEI in mind. Also, with making my character, I did not know DEI was a thing until I looked into it. What I do is think about what type of character I believe would be great or fit well with the rest of my character. My main influence for race and nationality comes from fighting games like Street Fighter, Tekken, Virtual Fighter, and much more. Growing up, I always loved D&D diverse fighting game characters like Ryu, Ken, John Lee, Paul, Raven, Eddie, Jackie Bryant, and Jeffrey McWild. I don't want to have a character that is a stereotype of their race, culture, sexuality, but I also don't want to erase those features in that character. I don't want to have a show where all of my characters are totally the same. I want fun and creativity. My focus is on the whole character and making them well written. I made their culture or sexuality a character trait, not their whole personality. When it comes to women characters, I have ideas for modesty and feminine characteristics. I'm not into making overly sexual women but I'm not going to make them genderless or ugly or make them ugly on purpose. On the topic of strong female characters, strong female characters are not the problem. It's bad writing. Bad writing can make a strong female character into a Mary Sue or a boring girl bot with no issues whatsoever. I want to make strong female characters the right way. No girl bought it. Since my project had a big focus on action and fighting, disabilities like being mentally disabled or someone in a wheelchair would be an issue because my project focused on action and fighting. I don't think I need to explain anymore. Also, I am not putting any obese character or the fat community nonsense in my project. I have already talked about my view on that. When people watch anime, action movies, martial arts, or a boxing fight, what do these have in common? People are in shape. I hate to be this guy, but no one wants to see an overweight or obese person in action or fighting related media doing action and fighting. No, that is not fat phobic and no, that is not mean to say. That is being honest and telling the truth. Also, if you put a 500 pound person in a anime where the person is fighting like someone in Hajime no Ippo, people would look at me and say, Is this uh, an out of season April Fool's joke? Doing all the representation the right way is not going to be easy. While diversity is great, it should not feel forced or borderline pandering. Representation should be a choice, not an obligation. How things are implemented, the intention behind it, and how it blends into the narrative is something to keep in mind. Representation and inclusion need to happen naturally and be organic. It takes time to add a certain type of person 
or diversity into a theory. I think being casual and not making a huge deal about it would be better. Okay, this video was something. Here is the thing. I didn't make this video to make people feel sorry for me or to feel bad for me or to make people mad. I wanted to give my take on this whole crazy stuff that is happening. I don't know how modern society got this way. Now, people can't just tell things like they are anymore without being cancelled or losing their career. If someone's feelings matter more than the truth and honesty, then that is their problem. I'm still not an anti-woke person or anything crazy after all of this. I'm not a part of the woke or anti-woke group. I'm not a part of the red pill, blue pill, or any pill. I'm not drinking any Kool-Aid or whatever people want to say or use. I'm not a part of any of that and I don't want to be. I want to avoid radical extremists of all types altogether or crazy people in general. Does not matter who you are. And I don't think you need to be right or left leaning or be a part of any group to call out insane behavior and what some people are doing it wrong. And if you think anything I have said in this video is hateful, harmful, or offensive, I cannot imagine what would happen if you come across something or someone actually hateful or offensive? No offense to anyone, but while everyone is over there being outraged, offended, and triggered, I'm going to be over here playing video games, watching content, working on my project, or trying to better myself. I have no time for that crap. I know I use a good chunk of time talking like a downer, but not everyone had gone crazy. I think we will be okay in some areas. There are probably a lot more normal and reasonable people out there, online or offline. I think a lot of what we see online is blown out of proportion, but it still need to be talked about because ignoring it is not going to do us any favor. I don't get mad or outraged over problems or stupid things. I would say annoyed, disappointed, or dumbfounded, but not mad. Just because people are outraged by one serious problem or something stupid in society, doesn't mean we all have to turn off our brain and become outraged by everything we see online. Whatever is wrong with modern society, people need to stop it nonsense or get some help. I do not know about you, but I'm a person that wants to do right. I do not want to be a part of this nonsense. I don't want to be around bad people and I want to live in reality. The irony of the reality part is that my project is not totally based in reality. I will keep a close eye on toxic woke people, bad or questionable people in the entertainment media because I would not want to deal with these people if I got the chance to make my project a reality. I already know my show and game are not going to be made for everyone, and that is fine. I don't want to change for wokeness or woke politics. Why would I change something for people who are not going to watch anyway? Also, these toxic woke people or woke extremists only make for... Let's make a random per like 10% in the USA. Making a show or game 
for only that 10 percent is not a good idea but it's not like it mattered a lot of people are not going to watch this video i mean say something like sonic forced it's the most political game ever and people would not know what i said because they didn't watch anyway I would love to see my work on something like Adult Swim or Cartoon Network. There is a bright side. Not everything is total crap or what some people like to use, woke. Not everyone is following ESG and there is still some life and fun in entertainment media. But not from toxic woke people. As for my entertainment... I try to balance looking at old and new media because I kind of need both. Can't look at everything old. I like to use my time, money, and fun widely. I don't own everything and I can't play every game or watch every show. I don't like to feel a show or game if it is woke or not. The best way to judge media is not by wokeness, but if it is good or not. You can have all the diversity you want, but if the show or game had bad writing, lame characters, or boring gameplay, my answer is no. But that is great for me because my backlog and other games are calling me. I don't know who you are. Heck, you don't know who I am or what I look like. I'm not a hardcore gamer TM that played Call of Duty and drink Red Bull. I'm just a dude that played Nintendo games. You know how we do.